pretty people and welcome back to such pretty I finally have a brand new tutorial for you guys on this really bright pastel and avant-garde sort of look today's video is also a collaboration with my best friend Bianca from Jack Makins I'll put a link in the description to her channel so after you check out my video be sure to head on over to Bianca's channel and watch hers next without keeping you guys waiting any longer let's go ahead and get started do is map out the eyebrow using OCC's lip pencil and feather. So today's eyebrow is going to be a graphic eyebrow. It's not going to be the uh, my typical uh, realistic drawn in eyebrows. If this eyebrow is just a little too bold for you, feel free to rock this with your natural brows. Um, I prefer the lip pencil better than the uh, NYX white just because this one is a lot smaller so your, your little edge here is more precise and it won't be as tacky. I'm just gonna add the little zigzags here. Um, and like I said, this is a graphic brow. You could do this design that I'm creating. You could do uh, a completely different design. Or you could actually fill this design in on your own eyebrows. So it's whatever you want to rock, whatever you feel most comfortable with. So now I'm going to take this pale periwinkle eye pencil and use it as a base for the cut crease. Usually when I'm doing a cut crease it's a little more simple, but since this one's going to be like a little more of a different shape, I'm gonna kind of draw. So I'm gonna start drawing here like I'm doing a winged eyeliner. And I'm gonna bring it pretty high. And come about here. The plan is with this particular cut crease, usually most cut creases, I just kind of bring them just slightly above the natural crease here. But with this one, since it's a really, really rounded shape, I'm making sure just to come a little bit higher. If you mess up a little bit, don't worry about it. Everything you see here will be carved out with foundation and or concealer, depending on what I decide at that point, uh, a little bit later. Make a big, giant curve. And we're just gonna kinda follow the shape here, a round shape, and bring it down, and we're gonna come all the way to here. Corner of the eye, see? Doo -doo. And now, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to uh, apply eyeshadow on top of this, next thing we're going to do is make little strokes like I'm doing eyeliner. And then all the way around on the inside, just dragging the color inwards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of smudge this with my finger. The thing I'm going to do is apply NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil with my finger to the center of the cut crease we created. So now what I'm going to do is apply um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil right here in the center of the crease. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it just to my finger here because we only need a little bit, see? And then I'm just gonna kinda pat it in to the center of the eye. The first eyeshadow I'm going to apply is Sure Thing from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. Using a shading brush from Real Techniques, I'm gonna apply Sure Thing into the center of the crease. Pasta Lavender called Ribbonesque from Lime Crime. I'm going to go back in with the Real Techniques shader brush, this one is clean, and apply Ribbonesque all the way around the cut crease shape we created. I know a lot of people are anti-Lime Crime, so if you have a 
another lavender pastel purple. Feel free to use that instead of this one. There's going to be a lot of padding back and forth just to make sure that these colors are blended. So what I'm going to do is clean off my Real Techniques brush really quick. I'm going to load up Shore Thing and I'm going to pat and I'm going to pat some of Shore Thing over the edge of Ribbonesque. And that's just going to help the two colors blend together without having to sweep them. So just kind of patting. Lots of back and forth padding in this tutorial. Shade 369 from Inglot, and I'm gonna pat this color around the edge of the cut crease. And now I'm taking a paddle brush and I'm gonna apply 369 all the way around the edge of the cut crease and kind of pat and drag it in, blending it into ribbonesque. shader brush from Real Techniques. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot of patting in this. So what we're going to do is kind of just pat everything together. So I'm going to go back in with Shore Thing and kind of pat that in. Then back in with Ribbonesque and pat that in with Shore Thing and the 369 with Ribbonesque. And just lots of patting and blending back and forth until you get your desired kind of gradient and blended look. going to go back in with that same periwinkle pencil from earlier and we're going to create a reverse cat eye. So what we're going to do is bring a line out from the corner of the eye and make sure the tip of it kind of matches up with the edge of your cut crease. And then we're going to bring it to the lower lash line and then smudge it out with your flat tip brush that you used to blend uh, 369 into ribbonesque. Feel free to load up as much color as you want here. First thing we're going to do is take the Inglot Gel Liner in 76 and we're going to draw the eyebrow we mapped out earlier. So now I'm going to take the Inglot Gel Liner on a really, really tiny eyeliner brush and I'm going to draw over the lines that we mapped out earlier for the eyebrow. take my lip brush and I'm going to carefully carve out the inside of my eyebrow and the little zigzag here and then carve out around the crease and this V here. Shore thing 
to mint julep on top of the waterline, just lightly patting the color on to help set the color in place. And after applying short thing to the waterline, something happened with my final file where I showed you guys my finished look. So I went ahead and snapped a photo for you guys. I applied NYX Mint Julep Color Mascara to the lower lash line and applied false lashes. And that is the finished look for you guys. I went ahead and paired this look with one of my new favorite wigs and a lavender colored lipstick. Don't forget to head on over to Bianca's channel to check out her video next. And if you're coming from Bianca's channel, I hope you like what you saw here today. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to have you here for future videos. And until next time, guys, I'll see ya. Bye. Waiting for the jets to fly over. I don't know if you guys can hear them. They're pretty loud. Perks of living on a military base. Anytime, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> They're just flying around all willy nilly today. Being loud. Trying to make YouTube videos. Hehehehe. <laughs>